was mean to you? A lot of uh, club promoters. Um, what comedian said something to you? Oh, what? Well. Yes, tell us. <laughs> what? I mean, because serious, 25 years is a long time to be in the comedy business, and I know you got... You you got some shit. Okay. I know you did. The nasty, and I want to I want to say this because I know she comes up a lot on here. The one of the first comedians who really stuck up for me and had my back was Monique. Uh, yeah. Um, people say negative things about her. Monique is I don't agree with how she goes about it mm -hmm. all the time, but Monique practices what she preaches. I, I was opening for her at one time. She was one of the first who called me and said, hey, nobody's hiring you. Come on the road with me. She paid my rent one month. I didn't have wow. you know, money and she paid my rent one month. I keep hearing these stories on my show about she, Monique. She's an incredible woman. Yeah. I don't necessarily agree with how she goes about it, but Monique has always been very loud and outspoken. Mm -hmm. um, people have a problem with it because she's a big black woman that's it right that's Absolutely. it um she has been she was one of the best now some of the nastiest the the first run-in that i had was with J jimmy walker from good time not jj oh. he is a nasty motherfucker he is that is he was the most disgusting person that i've ever worked with in this business and i don't go around bad mouthing people but the experience that i had and i was 10 years in you know and you really don't learn what you're doing until you get about 15 even 20 years in really learning what you're doing and I'm really happy to be there with this legend. Um, he's good time. That's black. Good folks. time. That's JJ. Dino Mike. Yeah. And he hates when you say that. Um, and I'm sitting. I'm like, that's what puts food on your table. So right. like, I wish I had a catchphrase. And um, he comes in the green room. He sees me. I stand up and I introduce myself. I say, Hey, I'm Samson. I'm opening for you tonight. He goes, Hold up. What's a Samson? And I'm like, Me. I'm 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 your feature tonight. Interesting. He leaves out of the room. Oh. Uh, about 10 minutes later, his manager comes back in with a white envelope. We were at All Stars Comedy Club in uh, Alexandria, Virginia. And she hands me a white envelope and she says, I don't know how to tell you this, but we won't be needing your services tonight. So I want to make sure that you got paid. So she wrote me a check out of her own pocket. And so she said, Yeah, she said, Mr. Walker doesn't want you to uh, open the show tonight. And she wouldn't tell me why. Mm -hmm. So I stayed, and he got up on stage, and he said, can you believe they were going to have a fag open the show for me tonight? Wow. wow. And then he said, he, he made AIDS jokes. He said things about Ellen DeGeneres. So he was just like, um, he said, uh, you know, Ellen, I came up with Ellen on the circuit, and she needs some dick, so take the dick out of his mouth and put up her wow. ass. And he said some Samson. really nasty things. And I wouldn't sit here and make that up. He was so nasty. You can't make that up. He, wow. was, he was the nastiest. Now, I've had, you know, other folks in the business debate me. You know, I love D.O. Hughley. He's a friend of mine. He's another one who said, you know, well, don't you think you're a little too activist -y? And I'm like, have you heard what you talk about? Like, <laughs> DL is the most activist yeah, this you know, person on and, the and face I'm, of the earth. Yeah, so I'm like, if you get to, and, and, and this is the thing, a lot of folks, they make the mistake of thinking, you know, oh, well, y'all are gay. I'm black first. Hello? When I leave out of that house, the first thing that I live life a as is a black man. Exactly. Yeah. First. That's what we're and uh, so it's, and then on top of that, a gay person. And so comedy is all about being subjective. It's yes. all about point of view. And so that's why I stand up there and talk about it. A lot of the male comedians have, have told me maybe not to talk about it. It's, you know, affected my career. There have been a few legends who have sat down with me and who have come out to me and, you know, said that they didn't come out because they, you know, feared how it would affect their career. Mm. Legends wow. who haven't come out or mm -hmm. who have already they come out. They haven't come out. Oh, okay. And they've been in the business 50 years. Wow.